Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to be going over um, some basic functions of this program called RStudio. It's free. Um, it's mostly used for statistics courses and classes or just using statistics in general if you have a set of data. But before I get into that stuff, I'll make a separate video for that um, when you get a data table. But um, some other functions you could do are pretty basic. Um, it's like a basic calculator. So if you want to calculate the, um, you know, exponent of 2, you would get 7. So e to the e squared is pretty much what it's saying. Um, now you can also do log functions, 5 plus 8 or something, and you get that. Um, let's see, cool. And you can also do trig functions, so sine of pi, an estimation of pi I should say. Pretty cool. Um, another interesting thing is you can uh, have a sequence of numbers, so if you want to go to the numbers, list the numbers 1 through 5, you can. If you want to list the numbers 1 through 50, you can. Um, and this bracket right here tells you that's the 36th term. Um, so I guess if you want to do a sequence, type in SEQ, and then it's from, um, this is already known, so from 1 uh, to 10. So like if I just want to do something like that, and then you would say I want to do every other number, it would be by 2. Um, I believe you might be able to do if you just do 1 comma 10 comma 2. Yeah, it's the same thing. So it knows um, this program, I, you know, the coordinates that you input, I guess you could say, um, it knows that it says from this to that and by how much. Um, so that's what those mean. And another cool thing you can do is you can create histograms. Um, so if you want to do a histogram of cars, for example, um, you could plug in a really cool, you know, code and do all that. So here's one of them. There's one thing we can do. Okay, well, it's not working for some reason. I think I put brakes. Well, let's try. Um, let's try it again. Hist cars. Um, one. And brakes. Three times. One, ten times. There we go. Here it is. Um, so here's just a basic histogram thing. I'm kind of new to figuring out how the histograms work. There's another way to do it. I'll get to that on when showing data sets. But here's just an example of the kind of things you can do with our program. You can also do box plot. So you can do box plot of cars too. Um, so cars. Um, oops. There you go. And you got some data there too. So just pretty cool stuff you can work with. Um, just thought I'd give a brief overview um, of what this thing, of what this you know program can do. So next video I'm going to make, I'm going to show what you can actually do with the data set. So stay tuned for that. Uh, 